long tongue twister of a word and the best I can tell having talked to several Irish speakers is it, you know, and, they, and again, they're different areas in Ireland. So, so different ways it would be pronounced, but the Rinshiv or Rinishiv or something like that. But the word literally means to be at the edge of waiting. Mm -hmm. And that's the Irish word for contemplation. And if you were talking to an Irish Catholic who had a family member who joined a contemplative order of monks or nuns, that order is called an Ordrinahiv, you know, what we would call contemplative order, they would call an order at the edge of waiting. And so it's just, I think it's so evocative and so embodied a way of understanding what the contemplative life or what contemplative spirituality is all about. You know, the word contemplative is one of those words that's kind of heady and kind of abstract and, you know, the etymology of it is a little fuzzy. But this notion that to be brought to the edge and, and the word, the R-I-N-N in that word, the rin, literally means like a knife edge or the edge of a point or the edge of a spear, like the tip of a spear. So to be brought to this, this tip, this sharp place mm. where then we are called into not mastery, not conversation, not proclamation, not kerygma, to use a fancy word, but waiting, mm. waiting on the Holy One, waiting on the divine. You know, and of course, it evokes immediately the wise and foolish virgins, you know, this idea of keeping vigil, which is a core monastic practice, mm. you know, and so that, that we, um, you know, and, and I think in, in, you know, at least in a North American Christianity in our time, we tend to equate contemplation very much with silent prayer. And I think that's an important connection there. But I think the edge of waiting reminds us that it's not just something you do, you know, sitting in silence for 20 minutes in the morning and 20 minutes at night, that this is really an entire way of being or way of seeing. 